Hey guys, welcome to AI with Kofi Andrew, and I apologize for my long absence. I've noticed that some individuals are having trouble with installing Sad Talker, so this video will be a revised tutorial, and I'm going to change up the style a bit so that you can follow along more easily. So without further ado, let's get started. You don't have to adjust the container disk size, but for the volume disk, you should have 20 or more gigabytes of storage, because the models can be pretty large. Once you've made the necessary adjustments, you can continue and deploy your new pod. One thing I'll add is that it's best if you have some experience in Unix-like operating systems, because you will have to use bash script. Once you've connected to the session, click on the text file button to create a new text file. You can pause the video to copy the bash script commands. You can choose to run these commands as is in the terminal, or create a bash script file as I'm directing. To save the file, Hold CRTL and press S on Windows or Linux computers, or hold Command and press S on Mac computers. You can save the file as setup, without a file extension in the name. Now we need to use git to clone automatic 11.11. The link will be in the description. Now, we're going to use the cd command to change the directory to the stable diffusion web UI directory. Next, use nano to create a new bash script and enter the commands which will also be provided in the description. Hold Ctrl and press X to save, and remember to make the script executable using chmod. After that, we'll run the bash script. Actually, before we run the bash script, we need to install the Python requirements. So type pip install dash r requirements.txt and press enter. Now we can execute the run bash script. If you're getting an error with xformers, then you'll have to reinstall that package. I'll include that in the description. This part will take a few minutes. I, on the other hand, will use some video editing magic to speed through this process. Once that's done boring you to death, go ahead and click on the Grady link.
navigate to the Extensions tab, and under Extensions, go to the Install from URL. Copy the link for Civit AI in the description, paste it into the first text box here, and press Install. Do the same for Sad Talker. Once the installation is done, go to Settings and restart the UI. After Automatic 11.11 has finished the second phase of the installation, you will have to stop the UI from the command terminal by holding Ctrl and pressing C. For the next step, Open the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder from the left pane, enter the Extensions folder, and in that folder go to the Sad Talker folder. Open a new tab, then select the Terminal button. Now we're going to use the bash command to execute the download underscore dot sh script in the scripts folder. Now that the installation is complete, we'll run the web UI again and download the stable diffusion model that we want. If Sad Talker is installed properly, you'll see it as one of the tab items. Let's go over to the Civit AI tab now and download your favorite model. I'm going to choose Real Dream. Realistic Vision is also very good, and I mostly use that one. Once our stable diffusion model is downloaded, we'll go to the text to image tab in the web UI and refresh the checkpoint model list, then select the model that you downloaded. Now I'm going to create an image to use with Sad Talker. Once you have generated an image that you're satisfied with, you can save it on your desktop. Finally, 
we'll go over to the Sad Talker tab and drag in our image and audio file. You can record your own audio with your voice, or you can use Eleven Labs or a similar text-to-speech AI service. If I look sad to you, it's because I'm going to jail. I'm a sad talker. Great! So now from here, you can download your newly generated video. And now we've reached the end of our video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!